Hello again everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Okami. And today we're gonna check out the... Holy Eagle technique. And that's that. Now our next technique we're gonna buy is... The digging champ skill. Now the digging champ skill isn't exactly anything complex, it's just you're gonna be able to dig into harder ground and those barrier rock things I was pointing out in my other videos. And that's really it for Dojo for now. We'll be back to buy the other skills later when we have more cash. So now you can dig up the hard, solid rock-like ground. So... Any areas that you remember like that, be sure to check them out. Whoops. Okay, it doesn't want me to like, jump up from that angle, I guess. There we go. Now with these two skills combined, we pretty much have all the essential skills in our arsenal. Uh, I would definitely recommend getting some of the other ones if you want to fight better, but other than that, you know, a big... Yeah, I guess I should point out that those shells contain treasures, so if you see them, you can either... well, actually, you don't have a choice, do you? You have to power slash them to open them. And they usually contain you know, something good. There's a lot more that we can't get yet, because they're out in deeper water, but I will soon get the item. Yes, it's an item that you actually need to get these things, but I won't talk too much about that, because I don't like to ruin things too much. Might as well just sell the stuff we don't need.
Now you want to run up here. There's actually something I wanted to show everybody that I forgot. Remember how I was ringing the bell and being all conceited about it because I said I was ringing the bell and nothing was happening? Well, if you ring the bell five times, actually, something does happen. Of course, it would help if I'd actually ring the bell. Yes, we get a holy bone S. Now, if you ring it five more times, you get something else. Yeah, it's a holy bone M. And, of course, if you ring it five more times, something else falls in, and I'm sure you can guess what it is. So, that's what you get for actually taking the time out to bother to ring that bell, even though you're not supposed to. He doesn't think we can get up there. What he doesn't know is that we already have the wall jump we need to get up there, though. So, now we see exactly what we need to get into the ship. It's a hint, obviously, when they speak of the new moon. That's half of the moon, so what do you suppose you need to do to make the other half? I'll give everybody three guesses. Hurry up, quick, because if you don't know it, it's going to happen before you can <laughs> expect it. So, if we look up into the sky and we draw the crescent, yes, the two halves make a hole, and this causes a very, very bizarre event to happen. Now we can get into the ghost ship. But before we enter, we're gonna run around the, the ocean floor here, but just to see if we can dig up any shells, because there are often some. Mm, nothing particularly good out of those, but the glass beads will give us some money. So now we can enter the ship.
and next time on Let's Play Okami, we will loot and plunder for the good of Japan. I'll see you guys next time.